Philadelphia Eagles offense fumbled the ball away inside the five-yard line twice on Sunday on the road against a divisional opponent, and we're sitting here giving away possessions inside the five-yard line. It ain't ideal. That's led a lot of you guys inside of the community to start asking questions about the running back position and whether or not I believe the Eagles would shake things up. Truth be told, I don't know, but I do have names that I would probably like to see added here to the Philadelphia Eagles. Number one on my list is going to be running back Khalil Herbert of the Chicago Bears, a good contact balance back who can sustain through hits and contact and push his way into the end zone, if I'm being honest about the situation. I love Chubu Hubbard running back out there in Carolina. I don't know what they're going to do about Miles Sanders. That's a guy that I would love to add to this Philadelphia Eagles offense. And the other one is going back to Chicago is the veteran dude in Deontay Foreman. These are some of the names that I'm kind of paying attention to over the next couple of days because if a move was made, I think it would be for these type of players as opposed to like the King Henry types. I take any of them, to be honest, but you get what I'm saying here. All right, guys. What's up, Cerebral Football fans? My name is Steven Heider. This is Gate City Sports. So to begin, when I look at Khalil Herbert, this is the case I'm going to make for you, why I like this individual player to be added to the Philadelphia Eagles. It's because I think that you can't take away DeAndre Swift being your primary back. I would actually involve DeAndre Swift even more inside the red zone because I think he's just clearly the best running back we have on the roster and we need to stop playing games at times. With that said... He can't take every single carry, guys. We have got to have a guy that can come in on third down. We've got to have a guy that can come in and play the two-minute offense. We've got to have a guy that can be a specialist inside the red zone. I personally love Boston Scott. Would love to see that be his role. I don't get why they're not doing it with the veteran guy that they're paying the highest amount of money to in that room, but they're not doing it. I'm tired of asking for it. At a certain point, I just got to stop hitting my head against a brick wall because they ain't hearing it. However, if they're going to change out the role, and that's something I cannot I can't definitively say, guys, I don't know if they're going to remove Kenny Gainwell from the offense. But if they finally said, okay, look, it's too much. We're getting to a much tougher part of the, you know, the schedule, and it just hasn't worked, so we've got to pivot. We've got to go in a different direction, and it's not going to be Boston Scott, which I think they should go, personally. However, I have a name, and that name to me is Khalil Herbert. This is a young man that was a sixth-round pick just a few years ago. He's on a rookie contract. He's on year three of year four of that rookie contract, so you'd have his rights this year and next year, so you could implement and put him into the offense. This guy is very good at sustaining contact. He can go through the initial first contact and get you yards. 3.57 yards on the season. He's very good at that, to be quite honest. In addition to that, he has a very, very talented pass protection back. He's very good in pass row. He is not a liability. He can come in. He can get the job done. The main concern I have with him is the fact that I don't think he's a particularly nuanced receiving back, but he can catch some dump-offs. So yes, you will be detracting some of that from your offense, but I mean, I would love to see the Eagles continue with the creativity they had at one point where they were playing two running back sets. I mean, that was a nice little wrinkle. I would love to see more of that be expanded. And that makes a guy like Khalil Herbert really, really dangerous, to be quite honest. I would love to see these type of moves made for the Philadelphia Eagles if we're going to make moves. A young guy on a rookie contract who's coming in here to play a role. He's not going to be your primary back. He's going to be here to be a role player. I get that he's probably the primary guy in Chicago right now, minus the ankle injury. He's going through an ankle injury issue right now. We would have to clear him medically, and the Eagles have to be comfortable with the trade. Obviously, it doesn't prohibit you from trading for an injured player. However, you have the right to decline the trade if you feel like the ankle is worse off than what you're being led on to believe. So... I look at that play and I say, hey, I like this player. The other guy that crosses my mind that if it, you know, depends on what Carolina Panthers want to do. They have Miles Sanders there. They have Chuba Hubbard there. I like Chuba Hubbard. I think this is a young guy who also can sustain contact. I think he's a decent pass pro back. And I think he can catch the ball to what we need out of the backfield. So I think you can plug him in as a third down back, two minute offense and red zone back. I think Chuba Hubbard could get the job done. I'm looking at these guys that are on these rookie contracts that could come in here and play second fiddle to DeAndre Swift. The last name that I kind of came across, guys, also comes back to Chicago. He's a veteran guy. It's a little different feel to this because we're not talking about rookie contracts anymore. We're talking about veteran dudes, but it's not going to cost you a lot of money. And that's Deontay Foreman, another guy that can sustain contact and get through that initial first contact phase of things. Decent pass pro back. Been around the league for a little bit now. He's bounced around a little he knows what his role is going to be when he comes in here. I don't think that he's going to, 
you know, I don't think he's going to be crazy about playing second fiddle to DeAndre Swift. And I think he would love to probably have the opportunity to be on a really competitive football team like the Philadelphia Eagles, who are ring chasing right now. Those are the three backs that kind of that, that piqued my interest. I have no connection, guys, to say that there is any mutual interest between parties here. I don't know. I'm just saying that personally, I looked at those three players and I said, okay, they're on bad football teams. Those teams are probably going to be sellers at the deadline. It makes sense to me. I've been hesitant to make this video, though, because I'm not too sure how the Eagles feel internally about Kenny Gainwell. Just because you and I may be a little off about him, I, I can't say how they feel internally. And then also the fact that we have guys. I mean, we have a veteran guy that we're not using in Rashad Penny. We have a veteran guy in Boston Scott who I think would be perfectly suited for this role that we're not using. So it makes these type of things tough to evaluate, to be quite honest, when we're talking about trade market. All right, with that said, guys, before I jump off here real quick, check out this video right here. If you want to learn about the nuances of playing in a 34 or a 50 front style defense,